You know I've been on a G-Fans kick with the, the little buildings and all that stuff. So what possibly could come next? Don't go away and I'll tell you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul, coming to you, as always, from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And what could come next with the G-Fans buildings? We've got cars. we got buildings. What about people? We need people, and I have people. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. People. People and accessories from my G fans buildings. These are one sixty fourth buildings and stuff like that. Okay, people. I mean, uh, uh, let's let's. Oh, yeah, I'm excited about this. Okay, so let's start right, right here with a G fans thing. This is actually a G fans garage tool set, which comes with a great lift, a, a like a work cart and a, a shelf that you can use to dress up your. Uh, your shop displays. Oh, what else? There's more stuff back here. There's more. There's more. Oh, look at this. A lot of stuff to put on the shelves. I didn't even know this was in here. You got some safety cones. I see a grease gun, a fire, a couple fire extinguishers. I think that's a security camera even. That's pretty neat. So we got that. We got this little Motul shelf, another little shelf. Now this is going to add a lot. Here's oh these are the legs for the for the lift in case you want the lift up in the air so you can have it sitting down, take the legs away, or you can just stick it up on the legs and put it up in the air. Now I will say. That the uh, the 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 green. Help me out, guys. The uh, the diecast cars that come with the lifts on them. Uh, God, man, I'm getting too old for this business. I may have to retire. Listen, um, so those lifts are better. They're metal, and and I've got a bunch of those laying around. But this is a neat little accessory pack. It's all plastic, but it will go really good with my G-Fans building. But that's not what I'm the most excited about. I'm most excited about this collection of people. These are made by Miho. It's limited edition, one of 4,800. I don't really care about that. They're 164 scale diecast metal, even. They're metal. Uh, you know, in my past, I used to love uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, when I when I was stationed in Germany, we would get together in the evenings in the dorms, and we would play Dungeons and Dragons, and uh, we had a really great time. And I always had a figure. I I would make, uh, I'd buy the little metal figures and I'd paint them, and I loved do, doing that. That that's leading to something else. I'm assuming these are sticky dots to stick your figure somewhere. But these are little metal figures, I assume sort of like the ones I used to paint. Okay. So, oh, I, guess, I guess that ship has sailed. All right, first of all, there's a couple of dogs. Okay, this looks like a, maybe a, a retriever. And a basset hound. We used to have some basset hounds. Okay, and then... What set was that? That was like the hip-hop girls or something like that? I can't even tell if this girl's wearing any pants. She's in some kind of a hoodie. Really detailed. Looks great. This could be fantastic. Does she... Oh, she'll stand on her own. So this is going to be neat to put her in the in the... Pictures I do. Here's another one. This is a hoochie mama. 
wearing a big old fur coat looking thing with a pair of hot pants and a tube top. Calm down, guys. They're, they're little metal figures. Not real girls. Is she rump shaking? I don't know. She might be. Okay, let's see if she'll stand. There's no way. Oh, she does. I can't believe that. That that right there, that's some pretty clever engineering. Here's a girl in a baseball hat and a pair of, like, khaki work pants. Her belly is sticking out. Okay. So that right there impresses the hell out of me that everything stands on its own. Okay, I wouldn't have expected that. But so that's that's a cool start. We got a couple... Chicky poos and a couple of doggies. Come here, doggies. All right, then this is the campers, and I'm gonna do that one last because, and I have a reason for that. I'll tell you why in a minute. This is called hanging out. Uh, again, diecast metal. This is one of 3,600. Yes, I'm opening these, so I don't care. Um, Miho exclusives hanging out. Okay, so let's open this up. So how's everybody's day going? Because right now, my day is going splendid. I'm having a good day. Here's some of those dots. I'm sure it's for sticking them somewhere. Okay. I see uh, a chick, three dudes, an old car seat, and a barrel, which I assume is supposed to be like a fire barrel. But like a trash barrel. All right, so the little chair is meant for this dude. And he's supposed to be chillaxing in the little leftover car seat. And look, see, it sits perfect. Okay, and then this girl, she's holding what looks like a red solo cup, which is cool. She definitely has a Veronica vibe going to her, like from Archie with the, her long black hair. And she's going to be standing, I hope, in front of my little chillaxing dude so he can stare at her butt. There, okay. And this dude is going to be staring disapprovingly at what's happening here. Like, you shouldn't be staring at her butt. And this guy is going to be pointing to her butt and saying, look at that butt. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Did I just go full on misogynist? I apologize. Okay. I was just trying to be funny. So I, I don't promote sitting in an old car chair staring at some girl's butt. Okay. I just, that's not what we're about here at Fat Guy Productions. It's not us. Um, and it was just supposed to be funny. Okay, so let's take these guys away. Because here, let's get her out of here and put her in a safe zone with the other chicky poos. Okay, there. There she goes. All right. But these are really cool. There's a lot of detail in them. Okay. And look, a guy with a beer gut. Okay, I'm going to save him for, for a second because I'll, I'll explain why. This guy over here. Ooh. I was going to use somebody else for what I, I'm going to show you, but uh, it might be this dude now. Okay, so let's look at Hanging Out 2. Was that what I just did, Hanging Out? This is Hanging Out 2. Miho exclusive, one of 36, limited edition, 164th. And uh, I don't even know what that white thing is. There's some kind of a Barca lounger in here or... It's like a deck chair. Don't 
Dot, dot, I want my dot. Why do I want the dot? I'm not going to use them for these, but you never know where they could come in handy. So never throw stuff like that away. That's your tip from your real Uncle Polly. <laughs> Paul, I just stole your line, dude. I just stole your line. No, nah, I'm sorry. I was just playing. I'm in, I'm in a really good mood today, especially because things are working out. Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit of a weird mood today. And check this out. So I make the best sloppy joes in the world. I really do. And we had them for dinner last night, and there's leftovers. And so I'm excited for lunch. And an earlier video I filmed came out great. And this is coming out great. So I'm just really feeling it today. And so I'm in a little bit of a weird mood. Okay, we got the little chair. Look at this. This is like a, a, a like an Adirondack chair. with a, And I actually built some of these. Um, believe it or not, I used to be able to do woodworking. I can't really do it. No, oh, okay, cool. Uh, I can't do the woodworking anymore because of my lungs, but... That makes me sad. So from the top, all you see is this little white thing, but it's actually a cooler, which is so cool. And look, you can even have dude chilling on the cooler. I'd be like, hey, oh, is that a girl? No, it's a guy in, in his shades. He's got to wear shades. These are so well painted. But I'd be like, hey, get your ass off of my cooler. Right. Everybody's hanging out. Why does the girl got to stand? Where are your manners, guys? Get up and let the girl sit. Look at that. These are going to be a lot of fun in, uh, in my photos. I need more of these things. These are great. These are fantastic. These are so well done. Oh, okay, fine. Be off the cooler. I didn't want you on there anyhow, you chump. Okay, and then the last packet we got is the camper series, and I'll and we're gonna and uh, maybe maybe okay. I don't know. I oh maybe. Maybe, maybe. You're, you're going to vote. You're going to vote. What are you voting about, you might ask? Well, I'm going to tell you in a minute. Calm your panties. Right. This is the Camper Siri from Miho, American Diorama, limited edition. It doesn't say, so this must be, you can buy a million of these things, okay, because it would have specified. Ooh, look. The dots are different. It's a strip of dots. Oh. All right. Okay. Okay, now I... Th this is cool. Here, let's just do it this way. That's how we've done everything else. Okay, this is cool. It's a campfire. But I just don't know where I'm going to use a campfire in... Taking pictures of my diorama, my my cars. Okay, this is a dude carrying a backpack. <gasps> oh, he's got to go. He has a ponytail, and I I live in a no ponytail zone. I'm just kidding. I don't care if you have a ponytail. I would never have one. He's got his pack, and you know he's all ready for business, man. Maybe somebody punched him in the ponytail, which is why he's holding his head. I don't know. But anyhow, so we got this dude. And then what do, what do we got here? Is that a mullet even? Or is that a chick? This might be a girl. Because there's a little hint of boobies there. And it has longer hair. I, I don't even know what to make of this person. But... You gotta respect the fact that they're holding a bottle. Okay, so geez. This this is gonna be a heck of a camp out. 
We got the dude in the wife beater holding his can of beer, which is so cool. What's in his other hand? A cigarette? Has he got a ciggy? I think he does. He's in his baseball cap, and he reminds me of uh, the guy from King of the Hill, the bug killer dude. Put his name down below, because I don't remember at all. Put his name down below. And the, the voice actor for him passed away recently. Rest in peace. There's somebody with a backwards baseball hat on and some kind of a vest. And he's got a whole six-pack of beers in his hand. That is just epic. I love it. And then here's the guy who gave me the idea to begin with. He's wearing a baseball hat. He's got a big old beer belly, kind of big arms and stuff. Heavy dude. Fat, okay? Fat dude. And... What's fat dude make you think of? Fat guy? So I thought about, and I thought maybe this guy would be better, but he's not as fat. So I think it's still this dude in, that's going to win this. thought about making this into me. The only thing is I don't often wear pants. I wear shorts. I would wear that shirt. I thought about putting a little Fat Guy Productions decal on his shirt and painting in the mustache and goatee and making it into me. So uh, what do you think? I think that could be a lot of fun. I think he's the, he's the guy. And he does have a fabulous ass, which I do. And so, uh, yeah, I think that guy should be me. So let's... Let's do this. I'm going to put these guys down here. Okay, I have got to look and see if there are more of these out there that I don't have. All right. See, I'm blessed to have such good friends. These are the decals. Paul Bechtel sent me. And I know he sent me some really tiny ones. I feel like I'm missing a sheet. I feel like I'm missing something. He sent me some really, really, really tiny Fat Guy Productions decals. They might still be in the drawer. This, this might be them. Too big for him. I'd have to print my own, it looks like. So, which I can do. Because I now have a 560. Oh, here, here. I knew it. I knew I had smaller ones. Look at that. That might work. It's a little big for the shirt. Let's should we do it right now and put that on his shirt? I think yes. I think absolutely yes. I think that's a moral imperative that we do that. I think we got to put that on his shirt right away. And if it works out good, then we can go to the hassle of painting in his, his facial hair. So, okay, this is going to be a first. I I'm telling you, this is going to be a first. There are a lot of guys out there doing diecast videos these days. How many have their own little 164 scale human being? I am going to have that. Thanks to Miho. Paul Bechtel for sending me these fabulous little tiny fat guy productions decals. It's gonna, it's gonna be so fun. Okay, let's see here. Let's try it out. Okay, don't go away. I gotta go get some water. I'll be right back. All right. I'm back. Did you guys miss me? I know you did. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay. 
need tweezers. We can get by with just that. How fun is this? Now, if you've seen my shirt, you'll know that this is larger than I put the logo on my shirts. But that's okay. Make it a little more visible and understandable. There we go. Now, if that dries up the way I hope it will, that's going to be cool enough that I will then go back in and very carefully paint in a mustache and a goatee on him, and there we will have a complete replica of me. That is awesome that he's got the Fat Guy Productions logo on his shirt. How cool is that? <laughs> I love this. I might actually like these better than I like the buildings. And I like the buildings an awful lot. But, uh, man, these are going to bring my glamour shots right to life. The cars in in these scenes with these these people living their lives and checking out the rides and, and all of that stuff. And all led... By me. That is so fun. Just use my finger there to push the decal down a little bit. Make sure it's settled in there. Now we'll just let it let it sit. That is so cool. All right. So these are really cool little figures. If I get more, do you want another video on them? Put it in the description down below if you'd like to see more of these if I get them. Because I gotta tell you, I'm going shopping. Um, anyhow, I love them. I hope you love the video. If you did, please give this video a giant thumbs up. Click subscribe and don't forget to squash the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. That is going to do it for me for today. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Look forward to seeing these guys in videos coming to you soon. All right, that's going to do it. Uh, I hope the rest of your day is phantasmagorically wonderful and fun. And until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying, be good.